I can say it's a bit of an unusual day for me, given that it's the uh, first time in two months that I'm actually in the office. We're all working from home, apart from uh, a few people in, in the operations. So uh, a welcome change. As you said, it's a, it's a strong quarter characterized by increases in two out of our three segments. That is, European generation is up, but also the global, global commodity segment is up, and that is where the gas business is sitting. Our international generation, that's mainly our Russian business, uh, is, is actually down. And it has been a good quarter, but I also uh, dampened the expectations somewhat because um, there are certain phasing effects, and we are facing a relatively weak comparison base in the first quarter 2019. So over the course of the year, and especially in the second half of 2020, this is going to normalize. And that's why this very strong first quarter then still fits with the full year guidance. And in terms of looking ahead, I see here that more than 95% of your output for 2020 is already sold. So what is the bit that you, where you're lacking visibility? Um, that, that, that's a good point. Um, the, the lack of visibility, if any, at least for the current running year, probably does not, not come indeed from fluctuating uh, of wholesale power prices. Uh, as you say, we're basically hedged for our nuclear and hydro fleet, and the same is also true for our thermal fleet. And by the way, those hedge ratios are also reasonably high for the next year. So I think at least short to medium term, fluctuations in prices are, are not the issue for, for us, even though in the long run they will take their toll. Um, something which we are all watching um, is obviously credit risk. However, um, given our customer base, which is a B2B business, and given the fact that we uh, uh, conduct a lot of our business via exchanges, so far our credit experience and our payment experience is a very positive one. Nevertheless, that is surely a risk factor to watch. Another one I would mention is simply the wider implication on our project performance. Yeah? So far, so good. Um, we have one hard coal station in Germany, quite a prominent one, to finish. That is Dutton 4. That is close to the finishing line. But we are also restoring uh, a lignite-fired power station in Russia. And there we certainly do see impacts of COVID because we are very strict to ensure the health of our uh, employees. So there we had to report a delay. So in summary, probably credit risk to watch, operational uh, risk to watch, less market risk in the short term.